friends. What would we do without them? <laughs> and if I make this video wearing these freaking goggles, I'm gonna lose them all. So today, we're gonna be <laughs> we're gonna be talking about friends, all right? Okay? Yeah, that's a great video topic. So, um, first of all, I just wanted to say this is technically a notebook. I think it's like, ugh, fucking notebook five or something. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I, uh, I I haven't been uploading in like three or four days. So because that fucking one of my Undertale videos is taking forever to come out, it's been like three days and it still hasn't uploaded yet. So I don't know what to tell you. So today we're gonna be talking about friends, all right? And not special friends or anything, just friends, the one you can't you hang out with, you know. <laughs> I don't know. What's a friend to you? Uh, tell me in the comments. Just kidding. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So first of all, today I'm gonna be talking about my friends because I don't know your friends. Well, what do you expect me to? <sighs> I don't know who you are. So anyway, all right, here we go. So first of all. When you got friends like me, I got freaking, I have anxiety disorder, all right? Which you can definitely tell by the way I'm wearing these goggles and my hair is messed up because that makes sense. Oh yeah, that feels a lot better. Half of my hair was stuck in the goggles, oh, Jesus. Also, I can't see out of these, by the way. Can you see that? There's scratches all over these bitches. All right, so, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So first of all, since this is a Dengly notebook, I'm going to say whatever I want. Um, I'm going to start with uh, Summer. Just kidding. I already talked about I already talked about her in my last few videos. So I don't care about that. I'm going to talk about Cheyenne at the start. You all know Cheyenne. Boy, I talked about her last few videos. But I'm going to talk about her again because she has some problems that I didn't talk about. So first of all, she's a weeaboo. She's an emo, toxic weeaboo that has attention syndrome. All right, uh, <laughs> we got some problems, all right. So first of all, she has this problem, all right, where she's like, you know, oh my gosh, I'm depressed and I have problems. <laughs> but just kidding, she doesn't. She just has attention syndrome. Yay! So, all right, basically what I mean is that she, you, you see them, you see her like you know she's talking bad about herself you know oh it's kind of sad just kidding she she's she still is kind of narcissistic about some things which means she's not depressed you, you can't do that just so you know that's not allowed so <laughs> all right so like, when I was in chorus class, because we got chorus class, you know, I don't want to do band. I already know how to play the recorder pretty well. So, um, I sit next to her in chorus, which I don't want to because she, distract she distracts me. Um, but, you know, we were friends, so I can't really do anything. Um, she did this thing at the end of the class where she was like, um, I don't know what she said. But she said, I sing better than everyone else, like, backed up by something. I don't know what the heck your problem is, but I sing better than you, boy. I'm way better than you, alright? Okay, and now, I know how she sings. She does that stupid, like, she's trying to be a try-hard, and I can see it. That's kind of a problem, but okay, you don't have to be good at singing in chorus class. <laughs> um, okay, so... Oh, uh, she, she does this thing where when she sings, it's like... I don't know, she's pushing it. You can hear that she's pushing it. Like when I sing, because I naturally like <gasps> But no 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 not with her bro. Not with her. She she's gotta do this like uh, thing and it she thinks she's good but she's not. She's really not. <laughs> it's the same thing with uh Sarah. She's another one of their friends. 
Uh, she's my friend as well, but she does that same exact thing. Like, I don't remember how Summer sings, but I'm pretty sure it's different from them, alright? They got this problem, alright? But when you say that you're better at singing, you gotta you gotta think about it for a second. Do you actually try when you sing, or does it come out naturally? Because if it comes out naturally... Oh, shoot, I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> alright, uh, let me rephrase that. If it just, if you just say it, and you're trying, you're, uh, when you sing, you're, you think you're trying to sing, but you're actually not trying to sing, uh, you're bad at singing. Like, you can't just, it just, it just, just, it doesn't just happen. You gotta try, mate. So, it's so, alright, she's got that problem. But also, she's got this stupid problem, and I don't know, I don't know why I'm calling it problems, to be honest. I think I ate way too much weed, but, is, is, uh, like, um, <laughs> fuck, she's, she thinks she's super mature, but she's not, like, she always says that, like, her mental age is 14, like, do you really think that's a much of a difference? You're 12, you're 12, 14, are you kidding me? When I took that face, that same Facebook test, it says I was 22, you think that's right? You think that's right? Look at me right now. You think I'm 22 mentally? No, 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 no. No, no. That's why I don't ever say you're 14 and I'm 22. I'm superior. I say you're two and I'm four. I'm superior because we're friends. So we got this. We got this cancer that's just kind of going from person to person. Just we're just cloning people. Just kidding. All right. Anyway, so. She, since she thinks she's so mature, she likes to talk about, like, boys taking her virginity. Like, what the heck? Can you calm down? Like, I was talking to Summer the other day, and she was like, I don't really like Cheyenne, alright? She, uh, she's kind of weird. She's, you know, she's, she's kind of weird. And I was like, yeah, bro, I understand. I understand. So I'm gonna change my voice midway through. It's gonna sound like this now because this is, this is my voice when I'm kinda socially awkward, but also this is my filthy Frank impression voice. The person who I'm trying trying to mimic right now, just so you know. Also, that just looked like I had a lazy eye. What the frick? Okay, whatever. It was just my bangs. So anyway, she. Well, I was talking to. Summer and to be honest, Cheyenne and Summer are not meant to be together, alright? They're not. Because Summer, she's like super, she's super naive and like she, she just gotta do her own thing, alright? She's an emo teenager, alright? She's going through an emo stage right now and that's when you don't want to be around them, alright? Because they think that they're super high level intellect and they're way more important than anyone else. Which makes no sense, because they're not, they're exactly the same, because everyone's gone through the same emo stage, except for you, because you're late, alright? See, I was an early bloomer, or something, whatever, I'm gonna call it bloomer because that's memes. So, uh, so, <laughs> I had my emo stage in like, third grade, alright? No, not even third grade, maybe fourth grade, let's just say that. So... Since it was fourth grade, everyone just thought I was insane. Like, there was no one else like me, alright? I was special. I was a special child, alright? Because everyone else thought I was serious about killing my killing my classmates. They were like, oh my gosh, she's insane. No, I'm just emo. Like, oh, I got in trouble so much for being emo. And now I'm seeing all my friends go into the stage. Like, Summer's just getting into it, because she's being a little but I don't think she's going to have an emo stage because she's too innocent, so I think uh, I'm, I'm not going to want to be around when she goes through her emo stage, like, God, oh, she's gone off. Okay, so, yeah, we're not going to do that, but for Cheyenne, she, she, she's, alright, I think before I called her a weeboo as well, an an edgy teenage weeaboo. There we go. Perfect. So, oh, oh, wow. <laughs> so, she got this thing, alright? 
or she, like this kid named James, she likes him or something? I don't know what. She told me, alright? She doesn't actually like him. She said she likes him for the sexual attention. Oh my, wow, you're so high intellect. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oh my. Yes, no. So, she thinks she's super cool, all right? She thinks she's really, she's really cool. Because she's, she's got those boys' attention, you know? And, uh, uh, all right. So, like, whenever, like, James, he doesn't know what personal space is. Like, he used to, like, touch me. Like, I would be like, no, stop touching me, mate. Leave me alone. He would still touch me. Like, what's wrong with you? Who is teaching you this? Like, he used to come to me for crackers, and I was like, who is feeding you? And he's like, my mom doesn't have money. Like, they're crackers. They're not going to help you survive through the day, all right? So, like, um, maybe you have a problem. Maybe you should go down to the main office, get some food, you know? You know? So, I don't... So, she, every time, like, he touches her, she's like, ah! Like, oh my gosh, will you shut up? You're so annoying. Oh my god. Like, she tries to be... She's a try-hard anime girl, and it isn't working. Alright? Because she has this thing where she's like, Oh my gosh, I'm so chubby. I'm so unattractive. But then she's like, Oh my gosh, my chub's so hot. Everyone love me. Like, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? Are you mentally stable? Because we got some problems, bro. And you are not healthy, alright? Wait, shoot, where, where's my mouse? Oh, crap. Oh, it's down there. You can see it. Shoot! So, uh, she it's not working for her because she's like, she, she always makes the stupid boob joke, alright, that I'm an anime girl with her because we've got like bigger breasts than other girls. Like, shut up, okay? I don't need to hear that. I, I don't, I don't need that, bro. Like, she... She's so confusing. I don't know what's going on with her. But, like, I don't understand her. Maybe she really is emo because I don't understand her at all, mate. So, you know, oh, shoot. So, I I really kind of don't want to be friends, but I, I'm also fine with being friends. I don't really understand. But she um, is very uncomfortable. She makes a lot of people uncomfortable, including me. So... I'm only friends with her because there's no way that I can avoid her. Like we sit next to we sit next to each other in chorus in FCS. Like she's on the other team, but I still see her like a lot. So I can't be like, "Hey, we can't be friends. You're too weird." Cuz she's I'm a I don't know. Like you know how I said that she was like she was she acts depressed. Okay, at least the recording's still on. My headphones just fell. She acts depressed. Well, she actually did this this cutting herself thing, which again, like I said last time, it's not actually cutting herself. It's like doing these little tiny lines on her arm that she thinks she's really she's really cool by doing that, alright? I don't know what her problem is, but she's like, my boyfriend helped me stop cutting myself. But then she was like the other day, like literally the other day, pretty sure it was like Thursday before the field trip. She was like, uh, blank of blank, I'm going to start cutting myself again. Like, oh my gosh, if you were really depressed and you really had a problem, you wouldn't be telling people, I'm cutting myself, give me attention. Oh my God. No, shut up. Shut up. All right. You think you're special because you do bad things to your body? You're 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 a lunatic. You're a hypocrite. You're so really? Are you kidding me right now? You have attention syndrome, all right? And you, I don't know. Like again, she does this thing where she calls me thick, all right? Because we're both we're both chubby. We're both on the chubby side. Except she's actually, I think she weighs more than me, which. Wow, that's a surprise, because I am I am stronger than her, but, like, it's really confusing because I tell people my weight all the time because I don't care, because I'm, like, super buff for my age, so when I tell people my, my weight, they're like, oh my gosh, she's just really fat, no, 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 I got more muscle than you, you cunt, so I don't want to tell her my weight, because I know she's going to feel so good when she figures out that she's probably weighs less than me even though I just said she weighs more so to be honest I actually don't know if she weighs more or less 
but I know that there's gonna be a problem <laughs> because she has like I told her the other day like she has more chub in the stomach and the thighs and she said well actually she said herself she has more in the stomach the thighs and the neck or the face you know blah, blah, blah. well okay I don't like I don't I barely have anything here mate so uh, I'm just trying to do a freaking video and this cunt comes in my room looking for a phone. I'm wearing. Do you see this? What are you, what are you doing? I have autism and cancer and ligma. You better get out of my room or I'm gonna infect you. <laughs> I've been listening to you talk about Cheyenne for the last 20 minutes. My sister has ligma now. Okay, get out. Thank you. I can't see with these goggles on, Violet. Okay. I'm out. Okay. So basically, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. She said herself that she's like more fat, like on her face, her stomach, and her thighs. I can see that. Trust me, I can see that. Like, I don't know where I have it. Maybe it's just like, I actually. She's like so confusing because she says, like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna be skinny. I'm gonna be so unattractive. But then she's like, oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta stay super thick. I gotta eat more and more cake. Like, what's going on with you? Like, in the last three months, I lost, like, ten pounds, alright? Not anymore, because I started eating again, and I, like, didn't want to play the Wii since it wasn't downstairs. So, like, I gained all that, all that back, I'm pretty sure. I haven't weighed myself in a while. But, um, uh, I just don't understand. Like, what do you think? Well, because, like, she asked me the other day. Do you think Sarah's ugly? Like, I'm so confused. Do you want me to say yes? Or do you want me to say no? And you might be like, well, Sam, why don't you just say the truth? Um, I don't know the truth. Because to be honest, Sarah's not really attractive to me. Like, uh, trust me, you, I got my own problems. But, like, uh, I, 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 a lot of people, like, all my friends, they're either gay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this joke. Gay furries or gay furries all right i have a friend that's a furry i have a friend that's um like i have so many friends who are bisexual and i have one friend that is pansexual i don't even know what this stuff is i'm pro i'm pro me and summer are probably like the only straight people here like i'm so confused i thought like gay people were like you know they there's not as much as straight people now but i'm confused now what <laughs> How did that change so fast? I think it's because they don't really understand. I, well, I thought I was bisexual a long time ago. I took down the video because I was like, this makes no sense. But I like, I thought I was into women, but also men. So like, but they're, they're going through that same thing. They're going to want to take down that video mentally and physically from their, from, from themselves. Stop saying it to other people like, oh my gosh, I'm bisexual, oh my god, I'm gay. Because it's so confusing. And all my friends, most of them are girls. And that's why I'm really confused. Because a lot of my friends have had crushes on me previously. So I'm confused. Like, because uh, they're always like, oh my gosh, I'm bisexual. I'm triggered if you call me gay. But how am I supposed to know? Like, what? You guys are like, oh, I don't understand. So, besides from all that, we were talking about Cheyenne, right? What was I even saying? Okay, yeah, I was still talking about the fat thing, and she was like, oh yeah, I'm, I need to eat more, but I also hate myself because I'm chubby. Like, I told her, I think I mentioned this in a few videos ago, like, I told her, like, do you have, like, you, I think you would be good to have, like, a, you know those, when the, when the characters blow up, like on DeviantArt? People are drawing them all like, yeah, exactly. I bet she has that fetish because she's so insane about that. Like, I don't under, I, 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 okay, all right, all right. That's why I'm like, I'm kind of scared to be not her friend because I don't know. She's like so into calling people names, but once someone says something bad about her, like it's all over. Like we're the bad guy, all right? Also, one time, all right. I think I mentioned, I don't know, I actually, I don't think I mentioned this before, but she, um, she took a pencil into the bathroom stall, and she, like, carved 
on the stall, she was like, who thinks Cheyenne is ugly? Yet she said that herself? So this is another thing. She's an attention whore. Like, oh my gosh, why are you saying that? And she, apparently the first person wrote everyone under it. Who thinks Cheyenne is ugly? Everyone. Ah, wow, what memes? And then someone, like, she said someone crossed out ugly and put hot. Like, uh, the, 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 and then she, apparently she wrote it on the door as well. Who thinks Cheyenne is still ugly? Like, I saw it on the door. Like, what's wrong with you? You got your attention. Go and leave. I don't, I don't need this. And she wrote it on, like, the, on the good stall, too, on the Undertale stall. That said, like, Asriel is a hottie and stuff. Like, that was my favorite stall. Like, mate, you're, you're, you're torturing us. Alright? You know, we don't need this. So, anyway. That's all I'm going to say about Cheyenne because she watched my videos like once, like two years ago. But I don't know if she still sees this. I don't know if she's subscribed. I think she lost her account. Because like all my friends, they always say my account was hacked. No, you forgot your password. Because I have never been hacked before. And I, ha I am more popular than anyone else because I make so many videos. And I have I have 40 subs, okay? I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. I almost have 50 subs. I have, like, I, uh, you know, I'm pretty good, alright, everyone else, like, most of my friends, like, Summer, she's getting up close, and I've never understood this about YouTube, I have over 230 videos, Summer has, like, 10, yet she's almost up to the amount of subs that I have, like, that's not fair, mate, if, if we're going by that logic, I should have, like, 100 subs, that's not fair, what the heck? I'm always uploading videos. Ever since 2015, I've been making videos. She got her account, like, 2017. That's not fair. No, no, no. You can't be playing that game. So, we're, t we're done with Cheyenne. I, I, I don't know what to say. Let's talk about, uh, let's talk about Sarah now. Oh, shoot. All right, so, first of all, sh sh okay, how about Cheyenne? Okay, so, okay, okay. Cheyenne? and Sarah are both huge weeaboos, okay? And that's why, like, I tell them all the time, like, friends travel in packs. There's something that, like, takes them together. So, technically, if they're weeaboos, I'm, I'm basically a weeaboo as well, so I'm less of a weeaboo than them because they, like, go all out and say, it, like, oh my gosh, I can sing Japanese lyrics, fight me. Like, I don't do that. I do that ironically, but not seriously like they do. Like, my friend, she was like, like, I was in chorus class, and she told me, I can sing a lot of Japanese songs. I bet you can! Because legit, like, it's so, you can sing any song in any language. Because if it sticks in your head, like, how you hear it, then you can say it. It's like just a different word. Like, if you don't know that word, like, let's say it's like, da 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 if you hear that in the song, you're gonna be like, duh, 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 duh. like exactly. You you're gonna be able to sing it. I can do that shiz too. But guess what? They can't. <clears throat> they can't sing Japanese lyrics because they think that they're hearing it like they're hearing it one way. Like they kind of they know the tiniest bit of Japanese, all right. They don't really try. They learn their Japanese from anime. Um, I'm sorry, but. I've been training Japanese for like a year now. I know more than anyone in my friend group, alright? So fight me, because I'm better than you. Anyway, besides that, don't don't call me a hypocrite for saying that because it's something I said earlier, whatever. But they there's a song called Miss Wanna Die, alright? I have it downloaded on my phone. And I can kind of read it. But not really, like uh, they use the stupid kanji, which I don't understand that at all. But, like, I can kind of read the, um, katakana and hiragana. So, like, there was this, there's this part of the song that, oh, shoot, it's going off again. Alright, here we go. So, it says, it's like, I want to die, I want to die, but I don't just want to die. And then someone else, but, like, Cheyenne, she sings it, like, every time we're in FCS. So, she says, I shiki nai shiki nai. Like, what the frick is that? And I looked at, like, I was like, I don't think you're saying that right. And she was like, well, Sarah told me so. Okay, so you're not going to actually look at the video. So I was like, you know what? I got to look this up. So I went on the video, and I went to that exact point. It's That's not what it says. First of all, I don't actually know what it says. But I know it. it it's not I shiki nai shiki nai. I don't even know what she said, mate. 
but there's ta in there ta the the syllable ta she's not saying ta all right like i think it was oh shoot what was it i don't even know what it was all right but it's she's not saying it right but she won't take my advice and she won't change it she keeps on saying it like it doesn't that doesn't even sound like a japanese word aishiki naishiki what the frick is that all right okay you know what I'm not going to say anything about it because I'm a nice person moderately, alright? So, Sarah, since she told her that, I did, I never told her that, like, okay, you guys are saying it wrong. I only told Cheyenne because I'm not taking my time with that. Because I know, I know once I touch that they're wrong about something, definitely that it has something to do with Japan. They're going to go insane, like, oh my gosh, well, I know I'm right because of the, no, 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 no. I have facts. I've seen the video, mate. I know it, alright? You can't be doing this. You can't be playing these games. Something ain't adding up, alright? We can't... You, no, 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 no. Don't cross that line. Because, like, I I don't know. Like I said before, I'm kind of a hypocrite for saying, like, I'm better than them at Japanese. Because I kind of am. Like, I'm learning how to construct sentences right now. Which is kind of odd, like, um, I gotta take off my goggles for this because I can't see. Um, I made this picture the other day. It's an egg, okay? It's an egg. It's about an egg, alright? Yeah, with these goggles on, I can't even see it. Me, oh my gosh. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see it. But it says, um, Kore wa tamago desu. And it means this is an egg in Japanese. And I did not use Google Translate for that, but when I actually did look it up on Google Translate, it was like the exact same thing. So, okay, thanks for saying that. Yeah. Koroba Tama. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, exactly. I learned that from a video, right? Like, because he, he used Koroba Pendis, which is this is a pen. But I was like, hey, I learned from this app, like, egg is tamago in fucking. Japanese, so where's the- oh, okay. So I was like, hey, how about I use that? Since eggs and Gurutama and stuff, they're all memes. How about I just put it on a piece of paper? Because last time, I had this piece of paper that, that said- Because at the time, I got this thing called a lazy egg. And it's this little, like, egg squishy. It's really weird. But it, like, broke after two days, because I was, like, smashing it against the wall. So- uh, that's not bad quality. It was actually pretty su sustainable, but I, it still broke, so I actually have the egg somewhere. Where is it? I have the yolk part because the egg, the egg came out, but, oh yeah, here it is. Look, this is Gudetama. I actually have one. That This is the yolk part, so... Wait, what the, what the frick? Alright, so, uh, yeah, anyway, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. So, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what it's about. So, basically, Sarah, you need to step up your game because I'm coming up to your level. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm higher than everyone else. Except for, like, one time I was talking to Aurora in sixth grade. And I think she was trying to tell me that she knew Japanese. I don't know what she was saying or anything, but I know she said something about that. And that's the thing, like, are you seeing a connection? Like, there's four people in a friend group of, like, six that are, like, crazy about Japan. Like, this is the problem. I'm pretty sure, like, even Summer, I asked her in sixth grade, I was like, where would you want to go? And I think she was, like, England or something. But she said, like, I think, I think it was, like, England, Japan, and then Germany. I think that's what it was. But, like... Are you, come come to the dark side we're waiting for you here so yeah that's exactly what's happening with them but Sarah she's like when I was in sixth grade and I sat next to her in like Spanish class like she has this this anime manga that's called Death Note that's also something it's, all, it's also an anime that you can see on uh, Netflix but I don't know I don't think that's my kind of anime it's really old style so Plus, you know, it's kind of, I 
I feel like it's not kid friendly. I don't know. Like, okay, so it's kind of weird coming from me that I want to watch kid friendly stuff after, you know, like everything I say about everything. But I don't know. Anime just goes kind of far. Like, crosses the line. Like, I don't care about swearing or anything, but it's just like the pervy stuff gets a little. I don't want to. I don't want to touch that. And I saw a scene from something that kind of looked like Death Note. I'm not even going to describe it. I'm just saying I'm not going near that. It had something to do with rape, all right? And I'm not, I'm not touching that, all right? See, like, there's this website that rates anime, like, if it's kid-friendly or not, like, PG or something. I gotta look that up for Death Note and, like, all the other animes because I need to find some kid-friendly ones for me to watch, all right? Also, Fairy Tale, stop talking about that stupid ass anime. I, I don't, I'm not gonna watch it, alright? My friend talks about it all the time. That friend of Cheyenne, she's like, oh my gosh, Fairy Tale. Uh, no, it looks bad. Plus, she ships, like, the characters all the time. That's the worst thing you can do ever. Never ship the characters unless they literally come out and say, I am, I am married to this person, or I'm dating this person, you know? You don't just ship people, it doesn't work. So, I see it all the time, but like, Fairy Tale, it's, um, it's on Netflix as well, and I saw like, like, the intro, and I was like, nah, 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 this anime is way too old style, like, it, it looks like it was made in like the 90s, mate, there's no way I'm watching that. I, I just don't like the feel of, like, old anime. It, I think it's way too, like... Like, you know how the eyes are big in anime? Not, like, old-style anime. Anime is the old style. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Their eyes are so big. Like, Jesus Christ. Their noses and their mouths are so small, and their eyes are ginormous. Like, it's way, it's way too out of hand. I can't take it. I can't, I can't focus on the anime when it's like that. I, I just can't, I can't, I can't do it. So, basically, Sarah, she's all about that anime good stuff. She's smoking that anime, she's eating that anime. She's breathing the anime. So, yeah, we got that problem. But, you know, she, like, she has a problem with personal space as well. Like, she used to get really, really close to me. And I think that was because, like, mainly, like, I told her, uh, Mackenzie, I told her, in, she told me in sixth grade that Sarah had a crush on me, and I don't know, I don't know who I asked, but like, I'm pretty sure people were confirming that it was true, so like, maybe she only got close to me because she had a crush on me or something, I don't know what that was, I don't understand how I'm attractive, look at this face, look at this, do you really think this is what it is, this is what gets the ladies, yeah, exactly, because it is. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, she got the problem with anime, but that's like the only thing that I can really think about that's like, uh, like, okay, I think she has a, a disorder, like ADHD or ADD, because she's always drawing, and she like doesn't take into consideration that I'm trying to pay attention in class, like she's asking me like, can you help me draw this, can you help me do this? And like, no, I'm trying to pay attention to class. Like, oh, like Cheyenne, she does the same thing. Like, she always has her notebook with her, but she like, she's kind of, she's really sucky at drawing. So like, she she's always asking me to like, do the, like, usually it's the boobs because she's always like, about him. She's like, I need help. But like, it's FCS and the teacher scares me. I can't help you right now. Like I told her for the first time, like, Mate, I have to do- I- I'm scared of this teacher. I can't fail this class. I- I gotta pay attention, I'm sorry. So I was just, like, trying to avoid the notebook situation, like, anything that had to do with anything. Like, anime, drawing, pencils, no, 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 no. No, I have to sit, stay away from it because I was trying to sew and she- she- she wouldn't sew or anything either. She was just drawing. So, like, okay. And, again, with Sarah, like, when I only had her- I was only sitting next to her in uh, Spanish class, so she would constantly draw, like when I would draw in class, like my social studies teacher, like if he sees us drawing, he's like, mate, put away the books, so like, okay, I'll do it, but like, only like, 
I don't know how they get away with drawing in class that much, but it's ridiculous. That's not fair. That's inequality, all right? Maybe it's because I'm a man, but that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair that they get to draw, all right? And I don't because, all right, I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. I am very good at eye to paper stuff. Like, if I see something in my head, I can very well, like, trace it. Which isn't really tracing because there's nothing there. So, <laughs> they have this problem where they do way too much lining. So, it's like, it's all scribbly. So, when, I, when, I, when they need help drawing something, you can clearly tell that I help them with it. Because, like, mine is, like, line connected to line and theirs is all, like, off. So... It's the same problem with Summer, except Summer's is way more noticeable. She has, like, lines all over the place. It's, like, unbelievable. I really don't know how you do that besides, like, your hands being shaky or something. But I can really well, like, here, I can show you an example. I was drawing this the other day, alright? Like, I was just sitting in my room, and I was drawing it. Do you see how well? Okay, I know you're gonna judge me, but yeah, that's me on the corner. So, which one, which corner is it? Okay, it's over there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Actually, I gotta take off my goggles because I can't see. I literally can't see. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, there I am. You see that? The hair, this, the lines for the hair, they're supposed to be kind of messed up. But, like, do you see the dress and the, and, and the legs and stuff? That's perfect. Like, mate. And their problem is they do, like, crazy stuff. Like, Okay, let me see if I can find an example here. Um. Uh. Okay. One second. Alright, this is an example. I'm gonna try. I made this a long time ago, but, like, it's worse than this, alright? And don't judge me, because this is when I was just learning about anime and stuff. So, I, okay, it's, they're basically Barbie dolls. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's worse than that, alright? I'm sorry, but the anatomy is way off, alright? You can't, you can't get worse than that. But apparently they can, so I'm just saying, they got some problems. And so when I, when I do try to help them, I don't really know what to do because it looks like way off. Like, like for a lot of, like for Sarah and Cheyenne, they always need help with the breasts. So like, okay, okay, I'll try. Just kidding, I'll do it because I, I'm way good at it. <laughs> but they have this thing where, like, they need to make the boobs, like, double Ds. So, like, it's super... I, I don't know why they do that, but it makes their characters look way weird, alright? Like, mine... Like, when I draw myself, I don't do that. Like, I... All my friends, their, like, breasts are the same size. Because I don't want to be like, oh, I draw myself with bigger chest than than Sean, which is a boy. Like, he's gonna get mad at me because I drew him with no boobs. Just kidding, he's not because he's a guy. So, I always just draw everyone with the same chest size because everyone's just gonna get mad at me. So, uh, but like, again, with them, like, since I do that weird line stuff, when, when I try to help them with that, it's like really, really, like, way too perfect. So, it doesn't work like with their drawing so when I do do the do the chest like I try to make it pretty kind of scribbly but then they're like no no that's too scribbly mate like what what, what do you expect me to do I don't understand like my friend when I when I gave summer like this huge picture that I made for her like that took me so that took me like two days that took that took my whole weekend so Sarah, she told me, like, you should be getting paid for this. Yeah, I know I should. It's not fair, but I do it anyway because I'm a nice friend, all right? But if someone came up to me and they were like, hey, yo, I need you to do this for me, I'm going to be like, you got money, bitch? Like, I am i can't be doing this for free. And I know people are going to, like, you know, they, they always got to do that thing where they're like, oh, my gosh, you're selfish. No, no, uh -uh. if that's going to be my freaking future job, Cause like I told my I in in, uh, in computer, the kid named Sean. I sit next to him 
and I was we we're doing this thing on like jobs for our future. I was like, I want to be an art teacher. He was like, You're gonna be an art teacher, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna be an art teacher. So yeah, that's how it went. But this is so like I I already kind of understand how art teachers work. I think it's kind of easy, but I don't really know. I mean, I'm an art teacher. I can, I can do that. I'm gonna be the best art teacher you've ever seen, by the way. I I I'm gonna be so cool. I don't know how the the other the other teachers work, but that's not how it's gonna be in my school, mate. I'm owning this school. So anyway, uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, art. So she likes to draw a lot. So like she brings her notebook so much everywhere that like she doesn't get stuff done. Like when I was in uh um Spanish class with her. We had to do this project, and I wanted to do it alone, but, because, like, we both wanted to do Japan, because I was like, I'm, I'm doing Japan, and she was like, oh, that's a nice idea, so she stole my idea, and she was like, okay, let's work together, like, okay, you're, you're not gonna, so I wanted to do it alone, and to be honest, I wish I had, because I got, like, a 70 on that, because I never finished it, I had to do all the work, because she, she wouldn't do it. Okay, you, yeah, I don't know, like, I don't, off, off topic, I don't know if you guys can see that fade sometimes, but, like, since I'm screen recording, the, um, the camera sometimes shuts off, so, alright, sorry. So, when we had to do this freaking project, I had to do all the slides and all the work, because, like, the way she did it, she did it wrong, like, I don't know why, but, like, the pictures were off, and, like, she couldn't spell correctly, even though if you just right click, it'll literally show you the right word. So I had to do all the work, but the problem was it, we didn't have enough time, so I couldn't finish it all on my own. Because we only had to do, I think we had to do like six slides or something, but I couldn't do it on my own, alright? And it, that sucked, because I think I was doing a pretty good job, but I couldn't finish it because she wasn't helping me with it. Like, that's so freaking annoying. I don't understand, like, I, I, like, for my science project in sixth grade, I did all the work for the slides, but it was still really good, and I got a nice grade, because, like, everyone else, like, everyone had to help in some way, like, I was the weather person, even though I made all the slides, I still had to rehearse my lines, because, of course, I couldn't be the one doing the camera or clicking or anything, I had to be the weather person, so I had to say all the words, even though I have anxiety disorder, and I'll basically die if I say something wrong, so I had to make all the slides, I had to do the do 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 dora thing, cause yeah, that, that's, I gotta, I gotta show you guys that, cause you're not, you're not gonna understand, so, and <laughs> literally the kid, that, there was one kid, is, I don't, Isaiah, that's his name. He, his job was to go up there and dance to the Dora theme. Like, oh my god. Okay. Alright. That's fine. You know what? It was okay because it was really funny. And I had to hide under the table until he was done. Because the camera person was like, you could kind of see the table. So, once he was done, I came up there on that table and I was like, yo. We got problem. We got tornadoes coming, mate. So that was good. I did good on that project. Like even though the the credits were like so long, I didn't want it to be that long. I wanted her to click like really really fast. She didn't. She took like three seconds on every slide, which made like technically, if you went by three seconds by the the amount of slides that there actually was, it would have been like a full minute for all those credits. And you might be like, well, Sam, in movies, no, 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 this is not a movie. <laughs> this is a slide presentation made by three kids. We don't need all that stuff. So, like, for the credits, since I, I had to do the credits as well, so I didn't know what to put because I had to do all the research, all the pictures, all the graphics and everything. So I didn't want to be like, oh, it was all me, mate, because even though it was, I had to still kind of, like, find a way to put everyone else in there. So, you know, it wouldn't seem bad. But <laughs> it was so confusing. It, that's kind of what it was with Sarah. Except we never got to the credits because we never finished. <sighs> so, like, even when we went up there, I still had to say everything. Like, because we, we had to present our slides and everything. I had to say everything because she actually didn't know it was on those slides. Because she, she never saw it. Because I had to do all the work. So, 
uh, I'm just saying, all right, because like I I like to take control when I do slide presentations because I really like them. Plus, I'm kind of good at them, so I don't like when other people are coming in because I think it just makes it slower. But like, no, she wasn't trying at all. Like for the science presentation, everyone had to do some sort of research. Like I did all my research on the internet, but they had to like actually read the books. So. I didn't use any of their research, but I knew that they were trying. So, like, with, with her, she was just drawing, so, like, when the teacher came over, like, she had to look like she was working, so she went onto that slide, like, when I was working on it, alright, and she was drawing, when the, when the teacher came over, she would, like, put her pencil down immediately, start clicking everywhere, so she would, like, like, she would take a picture that I put somewhere, and she would, like, move it to, like, all the way at the top, and then slowly drag it down to where I was again, so it looked like she was doing something. It was really annoying. So, yeah, that's like all I can say about Sarah because legit, I really don't know that much about her except the fact that she draws a lot and she's a procrastinator and she doesn't do work. So, like even, I like sometimes I just hoped that she would get in trouble because she wasn't doing anything. Like I don't know, I don't remember anything in Spanish class, probably because I'm trying to learn Japanese right now. I just couldn't focus on Spanish because I really didn't care about it. Um, I don't know, so, so yeah, <laughs> but like, we had to do this thing where we would like, we would count all the way up to 30 with these things, we had to take, alright, so you know the numbers on a calendar, it goes up to like 31 every year, so uh, we randomly got numbers, and she would go like, one and then someone with one would go uno and like and sh then she would go two and then someone would be like trace on the other side of the room so like these numbers like i had, i got like 24 ones and she got 12 and since sarah was drawing when she said 12 i'd be i would like nudge her on the elbow like sarah you got 12 and she's like oh uh and then she would look at the card and she would like um oh, mate i don't know like you're you're not paying attention that's why you nuns you freaking okay so i was almost on point every time except like we were timed so like we would try to beat our high score every time so like since she would mess us up every time because she she wasn't paying attention like even the teacher started getting kind of pissed at her like come on sarah you gotta stop drawing put the, put the notebook down and start doing your work because you're messing us up so like, because everyone was like, Oh no, no, it's Trace, Cato, Cinco, Cés. And she was like, Um. Um. Uh, I, <laughs> like, she didn't know. So I was like, Sarah, are you good? Because, like, I couldn't tell her because the teacher was watching. So I, I was like, Oh, okay, I don't know what to say. All right, you're not paying attention. I can't help you. So, yeah. Sarah in class because she was next to me all the time so like she would try to cheat off of me because she wouldn't pay attention in class so I had to like take my arm take my water bottle take my binder and like try to hide my paper in a non-obvious way from her because like okay like if that didn't work and, it, and I thought it looked way too obvious like um say so, so this was my paper I would have to like lean back in my chair so she couldn't see the paper. That's just what I had to do, all right? I'm sorry, I just had to do that. So she would also try to talk to me during a test. Like, I don't like talking, all right? I know that's, oh, la that's ironic because I'm making a YouTube video right now. But, um, in like in public and in class, I don't like to talk. I usually pay attention because I don't want to get in trouble. So, when she would try to talk to me, it was so annoying because I was trying to do my work and she would just try to talk to me like, yo, did you hear of this new anime? Like, oh my gosh, yeah. <sighs> and I would be like, I, I don't know what I would say. I, like every time I got the chance, I would like, you know how you're in a conversation, someone's supposed to say something, then you're supposed to respond and then say something else. Like I never did that. I just was like, so she was like, Hey, did you hear this new anime called Fairy Tale? And I was like, yeah. I'd go. I would go back to my work. I wouldn't even say like, yeah, I don't like it or anything. Cause like, I I don't want to get in trouble. Just leave me alone. That's why I was gonna tell the teacher at the end of the year like, 
uh, well, it was like mid-year that I was thinking about telling the teacher that I need to be moved from Sarah, but I was like, then other people are going to have to deal with her. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, I don't know why I always end up, um, end up, end up babying people. Like, it's so freaking dumb. Like, if we're all supposed to be friends, maybe you should, like, take into consideration that I'm not talking to you. Like, ugh. How long is this video? Oh my god, 50 minutes. All right. Okay, we can't, we can't go on anymore. We gotta end this video, mate. I'll talk a little bit later. It's like, uh, yeah, it's 11.30 in the morning. So, wait, what? Oh, I thought it said PM art. So anyway, guys, I have to see you later because I really, I have to end this video. It's way too long for me to upload. So I'll see you guys later. Just kidding. Right after this one, I'm going to record another one. So goodbye. Doo -doo -doo.